All right, I'm gonna help you get started on the practice and then you will complete what we don't complete together on your own. So this is the practice that is linked in your Schoology page. Um, so we're just gonna go through this kind of together. Um, so based on your vocabulary, terms are separated by addition and subtraction signs. So right here we have 27x to the eighth, so that's one term. And then plus 6x. So I always like to include the plus sign with the term because that does tell me if it's positive or negative. So that's my second term. And then we have negative 18x to the third. And then we have positive 5. So this polynomial has four terms. That's how you determine the amount of terms a polynomial has. List the coefficients for each term. So coefficients are the big number in front of the variable. So we have, um, so if I did like 5x squared, 5 is that coefficient. x is your variable. And this little 2 right here, that is your exponent. All right, or the power that it's raised to. It will also tell us the degree of polynomials. So that's gonna be important for degrees of polynomials. Um, but whenever it's talking about the coefficient, it's the big number in front of the variable before we get to the variable. So our coefficients would be, we've got 27, 6 and negative 18. Um, 5 in this case is not a coefficient because it doesn't have a variable in front of or behind it after it. And then what is the degree of this polynomial? So to find the degree of the polynomial, we're going to choose the highest exponent. So of the exponents, we have 8. For the 6x, there's really a little 1 next to the x as the exponent. We just don't write the 1 because we don't need to. And then we have 3. So the highest exponent would be 8. That's the degree of the polynomial. All right. So I would like you to try question 2 on your own. So however you want to do it, you can keep watching this video, come back to it, or you can pause, and then we'll move on to question three. All right, question three. How many terms does this polynomial have? Um, so we can count our terms. One, two, three, four, five, six. Six terms. Rewrite this polynomial so it's in standard polynomial form. What that means is we're going to start with the highest exponent, and then we're going to go to the lowest exponent. So if I look at these terms that I have broken up, I'm going to choose the highest exponent, and that is going to be this one right here. And that's why we're going to box those signs with our numbers, because we have to take the sign with the number. Because minus 5 really means plus negative 5, all right? So then we're going to go to the next lowest exponent, or the next highest, excuse me, um, the one below that. And that's going to be this x to the 15th. And really there's a positive 1 in front of that, so it could really be plus 1. And that's what we're going to need to write, because each term needs to be separated by a plus or minus sign. So we have to add that plus symbol. Then the next one would be this x to the 10th power, so we do minus x to the 10th. And then the next one that we're gonna do is this x squared, so plus 16x squared. And then when we're debating between just a number or just a variable, that x, really has that power of one. So that's gonna be the next one. So we're gonna do plus x. 
And then at the end, we always end with our plain number, so minus 84. Question C, what's the leading coefficient of the polynomial? That just means the very first big number. And the leading coefficient only can be written when we're in that standard form. So that's why we had to rewrite this in standard form first. And now we can pick the leading coefficient, and that's going to be this negative 5. The constant of a polynomial is the term with no variable. So that's going to be this very last term, this negative 84. All right, so I do want you to try the rest of this paper on your own. Um, one thing to note is that this vocab that's also in your Schoology page is going to be really helpful for you as you complete this. So please make sure that you use this as a reference sheet. It does have all the um, important vocab terminology. Um, and one thing that's going to be mentioned further in the practice is more of those degrees of a polynomial. So um, be mindful of those, especially these terms over here. So if the highest, so this is always talking the highest degree. So that highest degree, so exponent 1 makes it linear. So if the only thing you have is an x by itself and then a constant, you don't have anything higher like an x squared or an x cubed, um, it makes it linear. And you've worked with linear functions for a lot of your algebra time. Um, degree two, quadratic. This is going to be a big focus of our class towards the end um, units five and six when you get into algebra two, semester two. Um, so quadratic, we got that x to the second power is the biggest power that you have. Um, and then next we have that cubic, which means your highest is x to the third. And then quartic, your highest is x to the fourth. All right. So if you have any questions at all, just reach out to me. Otherwise, go ahead and finish up that practice.